Hey everyone, welcome to my number four in my Christmas series. I know I'm a little slow going, but I guess it's not Christmas yet, so I thought maybe another quick little thing that we could throw in, and I thought this was really, really simple. So this is just using the little fancy cakes made by Little Debbie. This is what they look like when they're at, when they're when um, when you pull one out. It's just these cute little cakes. This is the side view. So I thought this would be fun just to sit at the Christmas table, or if you need a quick little stocking stuffer or something to um, give to your friends that this would be something that would be fast and not stressful. So here we go. So to make this, we're going to do one in pink, I think, this time. You're going to want a piece of white cardstock, and this measures 3 by 11 on the long side, so really easy. We're going to do some quick little scoring, only two lines, so super fast. Just going to pull this in here and score it at 5, and also score it at 6. That's it, totally easy, right? For the scoring, and so we'll fold that so you can see how this is gonna come together. And then you're gonna want two pieces of, um, oh, what is this called? My brain. <laughs> we'll just call it designer series paper, as that's what it's called by Stampin' Up. This is the um, bright stack or something. So you're gonna need two sheets that measure two and three quarters by four and three quarters. And we'll just go ahead and stick these on real quick. So I'll grab my ATG gun trying to hurry we had a snow day today so the kids get out of get out on break a day early and they're out building a snowman but you know when they get out there and they get start needing things you know <laughs> I don't know so if someone's gonna interrupt so let's try and be fairly quick and I'll throw on our other one I know they're super excited to get out early and I'm kind of relieved as our high school had a bomb threat recently. And I have three kids at the high school, so it's kind of nice not to have them go today. Um, a relief, anyways. And so then the next thing we want to do is I'm going to use this Spellbinders Label 4 set. I'm going to grab the largest label. Let's pull up my cuddle bag. And a piece of Melon Mamba cardstock to match our designer series paper here. And we'll cut one of these out. So A plate, B plate, C. Oh, whoops, I'm going backwards. Actually, if I was a lefty, I suppose I wouldn't be backwards, but that's driving me crazy. So here we go. And we'll send this through. And then while we've got our kettle bug out, we're going to do two more quick things. Set my little label to the side for just one second. And we're going to do one more little cut. Now I'm using the Making Frosty Friends die cuts by um, Lawn Fawn. I'm using the snowman. Now if you don't have, um, you know, Christmas type um, framelits, you know, go ahead and use a cookie cutter. It'll work just as great. So make sure you look at this and realize which is the front and where you want your snowman to go so that you put him in the right spot. We'll slide him in. I kind of want him here down at the bottom. So A plate, B plate, the item we're cutting, and our C plate, and we'll send this through. And because I'm going through two layers of cardstock, I'm actually going to run this through a couple of times just to make sure we get him good and cut. That looks good to me. And then we'll slip that out, and hopefully we've cut through. Looks like we did. So there's our snowman part. So we'll set that aside for just a moment. And then the next thing I want to do really quickly is um, give this label a little bit of texture. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and pull up a cuddle bug folder. This is the Swiss Dots folder. And we'll go ahead and slip our little label inside in between two B plates. And we'll just quickly emboss this piece. There we go. Looks good. And then I want to trim my label down so that it will be tabs. So to do that, I'm going to pull my trimmer back up. And we're going to cut this label down to one and a half on each side. So if I come to my trimmer and I go to the one and a half line here, make sure you get this fairly straight. Right about there. So there's one. Let's push a little firmer. And then we'll do the other one. 
by turning the label around. And this gives us two tabs, all ready to go. So let's grab our project and we'll stick our tabs on. So to do that, I'm just gonna use some sticky strip because I've embossed on there. I wanna make sure that it's really gonna stick. So here we go. I just have a quarter inch sticky strip. Oops, this needs to be trimmed down just a little bit. Looks like it's a little bit goopy. There we go. Okay, so at the very bottom, I'm putting the sticky strip on the side that I want to see because this is going to tuck under my project here. And then let's do the other one. And as I've embossed on these two pieces, I really want to give some pressure just to make sure that my sticky strip's sticking. And then we can go ahead and attach these onto our project. So to do that, we'll just line it right up and center it right over the adhesive. And it's just eyeballing. There's one tab. And let's do the other one. Hoping it's not too bright. I normally film at night. Actually, this is probably my second time <laughs> recently where I filmed in the day. It's kind of nice having a snow day. We'll see if I still have to go to work. I'm not sure if I can get my van out of the driveway yet. It's pretty bad out there. So we've gotten this far. So now we want to quickly decorate our snowman. So before I do that, I'm going to grab a little piece of acetate or you know whatever you want to call it, transparency sheet. When you get packaging and things, save that plastic. Um, I cut a piece that measures two and a half by three and a half. Like when you get stickers or whatever it is that comes with plastic, don't throw it away, just save it. And because no one's gonna see this, I'm just gonna add some adhesive right directly onto it. Normally I'd try and hide it, but you, no one's gonna see it. Okay. So we'll throw this on. So we have some plastic. Not sure how well you're gonna see that, but it's there. And then next we wanna quickly decorate our snowman. So to do that, I just grabbed some little embellishments that I already had in my stash, so just use what you have. Grab three little black ones here to do the little buttons on his little snowman buttons, whatever you wanna call them. And then we need two for his eyes. So I've got two already cut out up here at the top. Actually, before I do that, I'm gonna grab his hat because I don't wanna not know where to put his little eyes. So I just used the same little hat from the Making Frosty Friends. Cut one out in a glitter paper. It's from the die cuts with the view stack. Added a little tiny strip of black paper just to kind of help him stand out just a little bit. And then we'll just stick a little adhesive. Again, no one's gonna see our adhesive, so we can just go right on like that. Sorry, the kids are fighting in the background. My apologies. And then we need a quick little snowman nose. So I've just got some orange paper here and I'm just gonna freehand it. Do a quick little triangle. Looks like it's stuck to my scissors. Let's see if I like that. And then I can do my eyes before I place my little nose. Today is a fitting day to do something with a snowman with all the snow we've got here. It's always kind of surprising when we get that kind of weather here in Washington. Okay, so we'll add our little eyes. And then for my little snowman, I'm just gonna grab a glue dot. And just kind of roll it up on my scissors. So I can control it a little bit more. And we'll place that on the back. And we'll add him to our little snowman. Whoops. Did I not get my glue dot on? It must still be stuck to my scissors. And it is. Let's try again. There we go. And we can add our little nose in. Okay, so that finishes off our snowman. So now we need a sentiment. And let's also go ahead and punch the top here while I've got it in my hands here. So I'm just gonna grab this little punch. What is this? It looks like a quarter inch punch. And kind of eyeball the center. 
And do the same thing on the other side so we end up with two punches. They're not perfect, but they will be just fine once we add the ribbon. Okay, so there's our little cake. So this is going to slip in just like this. If you're worried about it moving around, you could certainly add a little bit of adhesive down here on the bottom, but I'm not worried about it. So before we um, attach this together with some ribbon, let's do our sentiment really quickly. I'm using a stamp by Hampton Art. It's a wonderful life. So we're going to grab some matching ink, metal and mamba. And I have two little strips of paper here. And these measure three and a half by three quarters. One is that same glitter paper I used and then just some whisper white. So, so to stamp on this, I'm actually going to use my stamp on a jig so I make sure I get it placed exactly where I want it. So we'll pull that into view, open up our stamp pad, grab some ink. And this doesn't have to be perfect. I just want it lined up where I need it to be. Okay, so there's my guide. And then we can grab our piece of paper here and kind of line up where this is going to go. If you're worried about your paper moving, you can stick it down with just a little bit of adhesive. Let's see. You can right about there. Looks good. We'll ink up our stamp. Press it into place. And then I'll grab some scissors so we can quickly pin it, our little ends here. So I'm just going to flip that over, make a mark in the middle, join the two marks with my scissors. There's one pin it. Let's do the same thing with our sentiment here. There we go. Looks like I missed it just a hair. Okay, so two little pennants, and then we can grab some white ribbon, and this is Whisper White. What is this? Looks like, looks like it's a taffeta. And we'll go ahead and thread our ribbon through. I pointed my ribbon to help make this just a little bit easier to thread through. Oops. Hopefully you can make it without having to retrim here. Okay, that looks good. And we'll go ahead and knot this into place. Really, really simple. I could make a bunch of these assembly line and have no problem at all. tails here. And there's the main part and then to attach this let's grab a little bit of adhesive on one side and we're just going to slightly askew this onto our glitter piece. Kind of like that. And then to attach it I'm just going to make it easy on myself and grab some glue dots. However you want to do it is just wonderful. Oops. And we'll pop that into place. Just like that. Okay, so there we go. We have a blue one and a pink one all ready to go for the Christmas table or for a stocking stuffer. Anyhow, I hope you're having a great day and that you're staying warm if you're hitting the snow where you are. And I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.